Hey everyone, I'm Colton. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In a previous video, we talked about digicams and what they were. In this video, I'm gonna talk about a specific digicam that I've been using and that I've enjoyed. I'll layer some photos taken on this camera throughout the video so you can see some of the shots that I took with it. But without further ado, today we're talking about the Olympus E-Volt E300. This camera is made by Olympus. It's a DSLR from the very early 2000s, and it sports an eight megapixel Kodak designed CCD sensor. So I can definitely say it has a bit of a film quality to it. And specifically when I say that, I'm talking about the color science and the way that it renders colors are really appealing. They look really nice and kind of film-esque in the photos once you take a look at them after you've brought them over to your computer and begun the editing process. I'll also say for this camera, the fact that it has eight megapixels in the digicam world uh, means that it's still very sharp in terms of the resolution, very much something that you can share to social media, put online, um, even do small prints like 11 by 17 or under definitely is, is printable. Um, if you wanted to do a photo book and include some of these shots in a photo book, you absolutely could do that. So the fact that it's eight megapixels still kind of makes it usable somewhat by today's standards. I also really enjoy the design of the body. Um, there are some absolute limitations, but it just looks interesting. The fact that the viewfinder is built right into the body, so it's just totally flat on top, also means that it's kind of chunky elsewhere. And the grip on this feels awesome. So it's easily something you can walk around and hold all day long. It is an optical viewfinder, so you do look through a series of mirrors to see what's going on. And then of course, you can take a look at this super tiny LCD screen on the back to see what those images look like. Um, with the sort of limitation note that that LCD screen kind of sucks, honestly. Um, the colors that it shows you are completely wrong for what the colors actually are when you bring them into your computer. So you really can't trust the color coming out of the LCD screen, unfortunately. Um, also, it's a bit too small to really tell if you got things in focus or even sometimes like how the exposure is, but it's more of a reference tool. You can see generally what the photo looks like. Did everyone have their eyes open? Is it properly composed? You know, all of that good stuff. Um, but it's definitely not gonna be a modern day, you know, LCD where you can zoom in super close and pixel peep and get a perfect example of what the image is. There's also a lot of buttons on this camera, too many buttons, honestly. And then to compensate for how many buttons there are, they only made one adjustable dial. So if you want to adjust shutter speed, if you want to adjust aperture, if you want to adjust ISO or any other number of settings, you have to use that one dial, which means you have to push a button to indicate which thing you want to adjust, then adjust it, then push a different button and adjust again and so on and so forth. So first world problems, honestly, but if you're used to modern day cameras where there's two, three, even four dials and you can assign them to specific things, it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to when shooting this particular camera. Another kind of weird thing about this camera is that it uses a CF card. And so it's a big chunky card that has a bunch of tiny little metal pins that it goes into, kind of like an old school hard drive. 
and the storage capacity is like 500 megabytes, a gig, maybe two gigs if you're lucky. The nice thing is this battery that is used in the Olympus Evolt E300 is one that you can easily still find on so many sites online. Amazon has it for like eight bucks. So very easy to get a new battery and charger. Also, if you do get one that has a battery and a charger, because they're not that old, they probably still work fine. So that's a huge benefit um, compared to other cameras where they have super specific batteries that are very expensive or impossible to find. This one, you're not gonna have that problem. As I mentioned before, you also have a four thirds lens mount. So again, not micro four thirds, but the older version four thirds, but this is an interchangeable lens camera. So you can swap out the lens and because it's four thirds means you can use more than just Olympus four thirds uh, lenses. You can also use four thirds lenses from other brands on this camera as well. I do believe there is a little bit of a limitation with the autofocus for four thirds lens from other brands on this camera, but ultimately they still work. So that's awesome. Speaking of autofocus, there's like three autofocus points on this camera, nothing special to write home about, but in my test shots, I didn't really have too many, if almost any at all that missed focus. So whatever magic they put into those three uh, focus points, they did an amazing job because they're working over time and they're pretty much almost always nailing focus. Uh, ISO, nothing to write home about. I think it's like a max ISO of 400, expandable to 1600, but not very good at 800 or 1600. So 400 is kind of the highest you're gonna wanna push it, but it does have a built-in flash, which actually packs kind of a good punch. Um, I found that this flash did a really nice job on some of the portraits I took around Christmas time. So they came out nice and sharp in the image. So I'm satisfied. Overall, I will say this camera is kind of a little bit unique Digicam. Um, it definitely packs a punch in terms of Digicams and you can get some super sharp images that you absolutely can print or put online. So um, it's still a nice bridge between modern day cameras and older school Digicam. So I think you'll be satisfied if you find one of these. Um, one thing to note, if you're kind of married to the idea of getting a Kodak CCD sensor, some of the later versions of this Olympus Evolt series, I think switched away from that particular sensor. So definitely do your research ahead of time. I think the Evolt E500 might be the last one that had this sensor. Don't hold me to that, do your research, but just keep that in mind if you find a later model version of this. Anyway, I'm enjoying shooting on this CCD Digicam Olympus camera. Um, it's cool, let me know if you have one of these and you're shooting it, or let me know in the comments below what Digicam you're using and what your experience has been using it. Otherwise, as always, I'm Colton and I'll see you in the next one.